To check out all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com. So now we're going to measure our action height at the 12th fret. Uh, to do that, we'll need our string action gauge. Now this is one of the cooler tools that I've seen ever. A few things that I really like about the Music Nomad string action gauge are the black finish with the etched white markings. It makes it extremely easy to read, especially when you're behind a string, you may not have the best lighting, uh, the, the white etching on the black background really pops. I've found over the years that the silver gauges with the black markings, if they get dulled or they get scratched up, the, the contrast between the lines is just not really there and they can be very hard to read. Uh, this gauge has uh, action measurement scales in inches, millimeters, and 60 fourths. So no matter how you like to measure your action, if it's any one of those three, you'll have an easy to read gauge to measure your action height. Got on either end, we have a ruler, uh, one side in inches, one side in millimeters, very handy just for measuring things. Uh, and then we have on each side a uh, chart of most common actions for electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and bass. And those are in millimeters and in thousandths of an inch. So it's very easy to look on this gauge and see, I'm gonna use inches, uh, and it's very easy for me to look on the acoustic chart and look at, okay, what is my most common action? We came up with the measurements that are on the string action gauge because of my 20 years of experience doing innumerable setups and finding out what really works for most players out in the real world. So we have as our most common measurement for an acoustic is gonna be our medium action, 90,000 space side, 75 on treble. That's gonna be a good comfortable action for most players. If you're a light finger style player, you might wanna drop down to low, medium, or even low. If you're a really heavy bluegrass strummer, you might wanna take it up to medium high. You definitely have some options to accommodate your playing style and your pick attack. So for this guitar, we're going to use the most common action, which is medium. So I'm gonna measure where we are currently. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my pick capo under the, uh, over the E string, slide it up to the first fret. And that's gonna keep my E string down solid to the fret. I put it under both the A and the D string to get a little extra downforce because acoustic strings are pretty stiff, but that's holding it solidly against the first fret. Now I can measure my action at the 12th. So I'm using the inches scale. <clears throat> so I'll put my gauge behind the low E string at the 12th fret. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for what line meets the bottom of the low E string at the 12th fret. So an easy way to do that is you can start by putting the 20 thousandths line right on the 12th fret, because that should be quite a bit lower than your string. And then you can scoot the gauge to the left and you'll see the lines getting closer and closer to the bottom of the string. So I've now moved over, I'm at 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. This guitar measures 120 thousandths of an inch on the bass side. Now for an acoustic, since I can't easily adjust this, I'm gonna to need to make a note of my action so that I know how to calculate the amount of saddle to remove. So I have 120 thousandths on my bass side, and then on my treble, On my treble side, I am sitting at 100. So I have 120 and 100. 120 bass side, 100 on the treble side in thousandths of an inch. I want to come down to 90 thousandths on the bass side and 75 on the treble side. So the way that that works is in order to lower the action 10 thousandths at the 12th fret, you have to lower the saddle 20 thousandths because geometrically it's doubled as you get twice as far from the nut. So at 120, I wanna bring it down to 90. So that's 30 thousandths of an inch action reduction. So it'll be 60 thousandths off the saddle on the base side. And I wanna come from 100 to 75. So that is on the treble side. So that's 25 thousandths action reduction at the 12th fret. So 50 thousandths 
off the treble side of the saddle. Um, a saddle adjustment on an acoustic is more complicated than uh, saddle adjustments on an electric guitar uh, due to the fact that you have to physically remove material from the saddle in order to make the adjustment. Uh, it's possible to do these adjustments at home with a piece of sandpaper on a, on a block or if you have an old piece of tile or a piece of glass, you can put some sandpaper down and you can, you can sand the bottom of the saddle to adjust your action height. So due to the complexity of lowering the saddle on an acoustic guitar, we would recommend that you take it to a qualified repair shop to help you out with that. But we'll show you the way that we would do it. So in order to uh, adjust the saddle height, we'll need to remove the strings and then pull the saddle out. Uh, I usually put a capo on at the second fret. Uh, it just keeps the strings from flying all over the place after I take the pins out. So the first thing I'll do is loosen the strings enough to be able to pull out my bridge pins. Okay, then you'll use my bridge pin puller to remove my pins. And getting the strings out of the way. And you can see how the capo holds the strings neatly and keeps them from uh, unwinding on the tuners. So now I'll go ahead and pull my saddle out. You might need a little pair of uh, a cutters or pliers in order to do that. Go ahead and lift the saddle out of the slot. So now I've got my saddle out and I need to know how much material to remove from the bottom of the saddle in order to bring my action down uh, 30 thousandths on the bass side and 25 thousandths on the treble. So I'm going to scribe lines on the saddle bottom underneath the E strings that are the correct distance for the material that I need to remove. So what I'll do is I know that I need to take 60 thousandths off my base side, so I'm gonna open my calipers up to 60 thousandths of an inch. And I'm gonna lock them down. And then at the low E string, I will scribe a line at the low E that's 60 thousandths of an inch from the bottom of the saddle. Now on the treble side, I know that I need to remove 50 thousandths to lower the action 25 thou at the 12th fret. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 50 thou, and I'm going to scribe a line right at the high E. So now I've got my two lines scribed. I like to put a little pencil in each one of those scribe marks so that I can see them pretty easily because I'm gonna take this down on a belt sander until I have taken material off to those lines. So now I have my belt sander uh, behind me. I'm going to use that to take the saddle down to the marks that I made to lower it the appropriate amount. Uh, it's really critical that when you're finished uh, leveling a saddle bottom, that the saddle bottom is very true. It's not angled one side or the other. It needs to be dead flat, especially if you have a piezo element underneath the saddle. As you can see, I have a respirator and safety glasses. I would strongly encourage anyone that's doing any sanding or anything like that uh, to wear uh, you know, respiratory protection and definitely wear, uh, wear eye protection. And if you're using loud tools, definitely earplugs. This is pretty quiet though. So now I've taken the material off the bottom of the saddle that I needed to remove in order to achieve the proper action height. So I'll go ahead and put my saddle back into the slot, and if my math was correct, we should end up with exactly 90 on the base side and 75 on the treble side. So let's go ahead and get the strings back in and get this tuned to pitch. So now the guitar is all tuned back up, so I'm going to reinstall my pick capo and measure my outer E string heights. So get my string action gauge. And, well, that's exactly at 90 thousandths. So it's almost like I've done this before. 
Um, so that's exactly at 90 thousandths on the base side. And then we'll measure the treble side as well. And hopefully we'll be right at 75. <laughs> And we are, sure enough, right at 75. Might be a hair lower, 72, but right right in there. So that's great. Um, this is now set at a uh, the most common action height that we send guitars out acoustically, 90 thousandths high on the bass side, 75 on the treble side. Should work really well for finger style, for pretty heavy strumming, uh, just a good action all the way across the board. So I just wanted to mention uh, a couple of things that are really great about the Music Nomad setup kit. Even if you're someone at home who doesn't have the capability to adjust your action on an acoustic, you can still take your measurements and you can determine is your guitar in spec or out of spec. So the kit, not only does it enable you to make the adjustments and to, to really dial your guitar in, but it also gives you the information that you would need to know that, hey, I need a little bit of help from a shop or I need some other expertise in order to really make my guitar the way that I'd like it to be. For detailed videos on how to use each gauge during the setup process, please visit musicnomadcare.com for all our how-to videos.